All right, let's learn about some uh, selection tools in Photoshop Elements. And selection tools are some of the most important things to master because once you can select things, you can then apply effects to them, you can cut them, you can copy them, you can move them to another layer, but you can effectively s separate elements of the photograph, and so it's a very powerful tool. Uh, all of these selection tools. And, and uh, one of the first is a marquee tool. And this is one of the most basic. There's a rectangular marquee tool. If you right click on it, you'll see there's also an elliptical one. But let's just use this rectangular one. And so what I can do then is select like this guy's head. And let's say I want to move it around. I hold down the uh, control key command on the Mac and I can move his head around. And this would be a good chance, by the way, to also show you the history window um, so I can quickly get back, fix things that I've messed with. And there's this window um, that's called Undo History. And it shows all the things you've done and you can go back easily to uh, other things you've done. And so I'm going back to when I open. It skips those other things. And so now uh, I could also, let's say, um, if I select this head, I can cut it. And I'll new blank file and say OK. And I can paste it. Notice, by the way, this is much bigger. Neither of these is at 100%. Down here it shows where the fi what the file size is. 100% is actually pretty huge. Well, let's go back to the original. We got a guy without a face. So see, I'm going to go back up to the uh, open again. And so that's how the marquee tool works. The elliptical one is um, pretty much just the same. Except it's a circle. So I can move him, stuff like that. All right. Uh, and now, um, one other thing I want to show you, though, about those tools, which you may actually use um, more often, and that is you can do this kind of smoothing thing by using the feather option. So if I put the feather, let's say, at 10, it just means it'll be fuzzy on the outside. I take the circular thing, and then I cut it. And then, um, or copy it or whatever. And then you see how it's kind of fuzzy, which is that's kind of a neat effect right there now that I think about it. But um, if I can get a blank file and whatever I want to make the background, see, it makes it look a little fuzzy on the outside. It's good for like a portrait kind of deal. But anyway, so that's uh, different options of selection. Now we got the scary guy with the white head. All right, so um, some of the other tools, there's a lasso tool, which again is pretty um, basic, and it's just a, a little thing that looks like a lasso. That's the magnetic. Here's the regular lasso tool. It was actually set by default to the magnetic lasso, which is one you'll probably use more. But just to get an idea, the lasso tool, all you do is you circle around something, and then you actually kind of lasso it. And once they connect together, that makes your selection. So once again, you can uh, drag it around or copy it or paste it or whichever. All right, so then we go to the um, magnetic lasso, which is um, really powerful. Actually, let's save that and save the polygon tool um, next. It's just kind of like a lasso, except it goes in straight lines, and it um, responds to when you click the left mouse. So I click, and I click again, click again, click again, click again, and now I've got a selection. All right, so now I can move that around, or copy, paste, make it a different color, or make a different effect, etc. All right, so now let's go back to um, this magnetic lasso, as powerful as it is. And again, I'm just right-clicking on this to get the magnetic lasso. And what it does is it will try to find the edges. So now this is getting more serious. Let's try to um, see if we can get this guy out of the snow. So if I'm just going to try to 
go around his body so that people don't realize he's actually in the snow. And what this does, the lasso, this magnetic lasso, is that it finds the edges. So I'm going to so go up to his collar, almost on up to his head. All right. So now let's see if we copy that. We get a new blank file. See, we got him. He looks a little gnarly, but he is outside of his... He is not in the snow anymore. Let's look at a quick selection tool, and it's a little bit different uh, in that with the click, quick selection tool, it tries to... you just click on an area and it will try and figure out what that area is. So like here, um, now, now we can change its um, uh, sensitivity and we can do that with a brush size up here and we can make the diameter quite a bit bigger and so we'll do that so now um, now notice by default it does this little plus sign and what that means is it's adding now you can change that up here by clicking on the negative and um, you can also change that by clicking on the um, option key on the Mac or the alt key on the uh, PC and do that back and forth with the space bar I'm sorry um, it just goes back and forth with a plus or minus so when I say minus it'll take a color away but now that I'm doing plus, see I'm just trying to get all of this guy's... In fact, this is kind of interesting. Let's just get his Hawaiian shirt. Alright. We could then... And see, this is the quick selection tool. It's doing a pretty darn good job. Didn't get over here. Uh oh. Now see, I can do a little. I can do the um, little Alt key thing. Okay, so now if I copy that, I got just his shirt. Looks a little ragged, but um, what can I say? All right. One last thing I want to show you about all these tools um, with respect to selecting is yeah, there's this other kind of cool option. See, we've got the shirt guy going again. and That is, I can say um, select and refine edge. And so I can do different things to the edge. And I, I'm like, I want to know what this is going to look like when I cut it or move it or whatever and so one of the best ways is I go over this preview with a black background and then this shows what it's going to look like normally when I paste it which is pretty gnarly but what if I want to make this smoother and see I can change this option and it is helping a little bit but not very much now the feather one that's like we used with something before and the littler I get it the more it's like at this point it just looks like I did that on purpose which is kinda cool now the contract expand just makes it go bigger so see when I use a feather like this you can actually see the guy It makes the selection area get wider but here it looks like well the shirt was uh, doesn't look nearly as gnarly on the edges as it used to but anyway, with any of the selection tools, once you select them, you can change, you can do the refine edge and then change them however you want. So that's a quick preview of the selection tools with uh, Photoshop Elements.